Singapore's National Centre for Infectious Diseases, or NCID, marks its first anniversary today. And just over four months into its opening, the country saw its first case of COVID-19. And as cases now slowly taper, NCID is studying the long-term effects of COVID-19 on over 500 patients for up to two years. For more on this, Professor Lee Le Professor Liu Yixin, Executive Director of NCID, joins us now. Professor Liu, so COVID-19, definitely the biggest event this past year. What was NCID's role in managing the pandemic in Singapore? Tell us, what were some of the biggest challenges and achievements? Well, I mean, NCID is purpose-built building and as well as its function and role is specifically built so that Singapore can enhance its capability in its ability to handle outbreak. And indeed, uh, soon after we moved in into the new NCID building, we were challenged by many different outbreaks. COVID is the most recent one, and I must say it's one. One of the outbreaks is of a reasonable large scale. Professor Liu, the Prime Minister has, has weighed in on this, saying that you know, COVID-19 is not going to be Singapore's last or, or even worse pandemic. What have you learned that will, will perhaps help Singapore prepare for this disease X that he recently spoke about? In fact, over the past one to two decades or so, I think in Singapore, we experienced multiple episodes of outbreaks, starting from Nipah in the year 1999 to where we are today, uh, having to handle COVID-19 in uh, 2019 and 2020. If you look back the history of the uh, outbreaks in Singapore, as well as the other parts of the world, we then realised that, uh, in fact, many of all these emerging infections and re-emerging infections are happening in closer successions. So if we were to look back into the history, I think it is fundamental and it's critical for us to be able to beef up our capability to handle outbreaks. And it is possibly not wrong to say that, you know, COVID perhaps it is one of the challenges and it may not be the worst that is going to come. Right. Speaking of that, COVID-19 situation is somewhat, somewhat stabilising. Can you give us an update of your study of recovered COVID-19 patients? we have done so far is to be able to put together a cohort and uh, with ability to follow them over a long period of time. Now, this kind of study, in fact, is the most precious because you're able to study the disease in a human over a period of time to understand what will be the impact on the human. And uh, this cohort um, that we have beefed up, um, up to now, I think we have uh, recruited more than 600 participants uh, into this study. So from this cohort, in fact, we can do a lot of uh, investigations, including studying how the human body responds to the invasions of the virus. Mm. Uh, and on that point, could you share some of the, of the findings from that? Because there have been concerns uh, in the media specifically about just how bad it can be, how bad recovered patients, what, what they can suffer from, permanent heart damage, loss of sense of smell, uh, and even brain damage is being spoken about. Well, we now know a little bit more about the virus. I cannot say that we know everything about the virus. Now, first of all, we learned that this uh, virus, it can infect the respiratory tract very easily from the upper to the lower respiratory tract. When it infects the upper respiratory tract, in fact, most of the patients cannot handle the virus. The virus will repeat very rapidly and therefore, you know, you have a very high level of a virus that can be secreted from the respiratory tract. As you move down to the lung, it can cause major damage to the lung through many, many ways. One is to directly damage the lung tissue and then it creates a lot of inflammatory responses. And you add up all this together, it can cause significant damage. And not only to the lung, we also know that the virus can attach to the heart, can attach to the blood vessels, and that can cause damages as well in different parts of the organ. Now, we do not know at this point in time what will be the long-term impact of all the COVID-19 cases we have recovered. 
But indeed, this cohort will be able to help us to understand much more in terms of the long-term impact of the virus on the human body. And it is very important work that you're doing. Professor Liu, thank you very much for that. We've been speaking there to Professor Liu Yixin, Executive Director of the Singapore's uh, NCID.